Hello, I'm Yong Chi Huang from Shenzhen University. I'm the first author of this project I'm going to talk about, titled Valid Liquid Unknown Liquid Identification with Your Smartphone. Ubiquitous testing is a potential application for many scenarios. For example, the in home health monitoring, people can measure the urine composition to predict the health risks in advance. Or people can identify the water quality to ensure it is safe. This may help those living in impoverished area that lack of water treatment facilities or those areas with the silver water pollution. Unfortunately, the current liquid testing system have many shortcomings requiring like the specialized external devices or balconies. This difficulty in deploying and using the general public prevents those system from penetrating our daily life. We think to find a way to promote the identification of all known liquids more convenience or even embedded in our daily commercial devices such as the smartphone. Amongst many properties of liquid, viscosity is an intrinsic property that can not only detect the changes in the liquid composition, but also combined with the mobile phone sensors. That is why we choose the viscosity we are likely to identify the liquid types and analyze the concentration and change of the composition from the viscosity. So the white liquid is an unknown liquid testing system that can identify the liquid from the viscosity change. And this lightweight system leverages a building model and an assessmenter the users need to attach the smartphone to this container. The system will generate active vibration signals and classified water from the viscosity calculated. From the collection of the reflecting re vibration signals. Well, we have three challenges need to address. First, how to calculate the viscosity from the active vibration to the liquid. Second, the maximum sampling rate through the API is li limited to 100 Hz in the cost smartphones, and the sampled signals are distorted. This will cause significant measurement errors. The third is interferences coming from like the vibration model to the sensor meter, or and another is the liquid volume change. Now I introduce the proposed theoretical models for liquid viscosity measurement. Liquid viscosity is kind of sharing force and its formula is shown on the right side. Eliminate the other concerns and the parameters we can control, like the volume and the temperature. We can find that the exponential term, the delta G is a variable. But molecules will influence this variable, which means the liquid compositions will induce the significant influence. Since the shear force can represent the viscosity, we can use a form to generate a shear motion, such as the displacement when it vibrates. This idea comes from, come from our life experience. And when we pick up two different drinks and shake them, they will feel different. Specifically, as shown in the fig, when the foam generates the vibration, we can separate the vibration into three states the trans transient, the steady, and the decaying state. We eliminate the transient state vibration signals since it is highly dynamic and uh, in, intractable to model. When it comes to steady state, we consider the vibrated liquid layer as a static object and model 
uh, spring mass tempered models of the single degree of freedom. We also need to solve unknown parameters in the model, such as the damping coefficient when the external force induced by the model post. The system turned to a decay state, affected by the resistance, the vibration of the liquid gradually decays and then stop, which is the resistance caused by the damping coefficient. Uh, therefore, these parts of signals can solve the damping coefficient. First, we want to verify the models and demonstrate the feasibility. We print the rinsing cup and adhere to the accelerometer and the model outside. As shown in the figure 1, we try different liquids. We found that the vibration signals did differ. But what is the source of these differences? We need to determine whether the vibration signal is the change of the momentum caused by the increase in mass or the effect from the uh, sharing force that caused by the viscosity. Therefore, we need to find a liquid with the same mass but a different viscosity from the experiments. We tried a lot of liquids and discovered that the cross solution and the sodium chloride solution was suitable at 80 degrees Celsius. We can see in the figure 2 that the cell mass will get different peaks. It can also see from the figure 3 that the influence of the volume is far more significant than the mass. This is because weak vibrations do not directly dis disturb the entire liquid. We found in the volume, volume experiment that the change of volume will have different attenuation to the amplitude. In our experiment, we tried different vibration models. The one on the left that generates the vibrations by rotation. Uh, and we, we also tried like the x-axis linear models, the z-axis linear model. In the contrast, we found that the x-axis linear model is much more better. It is available for the multiple commercial mobile phones, including the iPhone 7, 8, AP, and also like the X and XR. We also adjust the position of the phone and find the location with the highest signal to the noise ratio. We also combat the strength pass interference. The details are given in the paper. Another challenge is that the sampling rate of iOS it is very low. And it is not the accelerometer's uh, problem. We have tried a standalone accelerometer in the of the sand model, and it is using the higher sample rate. So it is the iOS issue compared to the model vibration frequencies, uh, nearly it's 170 hertz. Uh, the optimistic signal is clearly distorted. We use the time for space master to combine the different sample points in the same period by controlling the initial sampling time. You can see from the illustrate on the right. And because we use a high precision accelerometer and sample the original vibration signal, uh, therefore we can use the OMPR algorithm to reconstruct our signal. This method can effectively reduce the sample time and improve the recovery accuracy of the original signal. We eventually got back to the 1600 Hz. The relationship between the viscosity and the volume is difficult to model. This is another challenge. However, According to the household vibration theorem, there are the relationship between the frequencies and the liquid volume. 
So we can obtain a priori value of the liquid volume. And then we can apply the corresponding volume weight vector to the signal. Okay, let us watch uh, demos of our system by liquid. We prepared 200 milliliters of pure water in a beaker and 50 milliliters of 50% sucrose solution in a syringe. The phone's interface is displayed on the screen in real time. We pour all the water into the vial liquid container. We started. To draw the ground truth curve, we used viscometer to measure six concentrations of sucrose solutions at 20 degrees Celsius. We add 10 milliliters of sucrose solution each time to improve sucrose concentration in the vial liquid container in real time. With the increase of sucrose concentration, the measured viscosity also increased. As we can see, the measured viscosity is very close to the ground truth. Now I will show you the wide range of experiments what we did. Comparing to the ground truth, the mean related errors of our citizens is 2.9%. We'll adopt the samples KNN to the classified liquid and average classification accuracy is 95.47% for 30 kinds of liquid. The means relative error is 2.56%, which indicates that uh, if the unknown liquid's viscosity is higher than that of the probable water by 0.1 cp, we can be confident that the unknown liquid is non probable We can also measure a certain liquid concentration level, even the amount is very small, such as the sodium urine, the ovibumint, and the alkaloid. We define the uh, valuable upper boundary as the time when the estimation error exceeds 5%. We can get the upper boundary is 2,500 CP. In summary, vial liquid is a new attempt. It can de detect liquids using the mobile phone and has a very wide range of liquid recognition. We built a model for the mobile phone to detect the liquid and solve the main challenges in the process. We eliminate some of the unnecessary interference and improve the detection accuracy. That is all my presentation. Thank you for your listening.